back out here for another glorious day. The boys have got the cylinder out of the lift. It's over here. And uh, you can see right here, we're gonna get these seals down to Tampa and get some new seals put in this thing. And uh, yeah, those seals are definitely in terrible shape. Get it fixed up. But back on to today's video, I am headed out to Schwinn Trucking here in town, local trucking company. Really nice guys. They are gonna do the annual inspection on the Peterbilt here. So we're gonna drive over there. They're gonna fill out the little sticker and that will be one thing checked off our battle with the FMCSA safety audit. So right now, the paperwork's in the front office. I'll show it to you guys when we get back, but we've got to get the this done, get registered with a clearinghouse. Uh, they want us to show logbook entries, which we don't haven't had a logbook, so I'm gonna have to figure that out um, because we haven't really done, I don't know. We've got to figure the whole logbook situation out still, but uh, what else was it? And my medical card, I'm just gotta send them that. I thought we sent that to them, but apparently they didn't get it. So let's load up and go uh, get a safety sticker for this thing. So I decided to load my little buddy up, Gunner. He's getting so big. And uh, we're gonna get this thing inspected. And go get him some lunch, because I just had lunch, but he hasn't had lunch yet. And uh, maybe go to the Streak and Beacon. We'll see. Let's go to the same inspected. You ready? You ready? Yeah, maybe. No, okay. All right, we are up here at Swin Trucking. They're pulling this thing in here. They're gonna do the inspection on it. Got a uh, walk through bay right here too, or walk under, whatever you want to call it. It's a nice shop, very nice shop here in Florida. Yes, sir. All right, so they're gonna run down the air to make sure the alarm goes off, right? Yeah. Yep. Make sure you got a. This should pop out at a certain PSI. Yep. So. Yep. You're all good there. Our low, uh, low air, low air alarm there. works. Yeah. Yep. Need to, need to see a fire extinguisher uh, and triangle. Key. Okay. So we got the truck over the bay. We're checking for leaks. Checking for what? All we checking for? Oil leaks? Air uh, leaks? We're checking for wheel seals. Making sure you check your brake lining, all your knuckles, everything's gotta be greased and kosher. Yeah, just for so even on a brand new even on a brand new truck there can be things wrong, right? I mean it does happen. Oh yeah, I found things wrong on brand new trucks. Yeah, every basically what we're inspecting is DOT requirements. So anything that has to do with the brakes, air leaks, oil leaks. Make sure everything's safe, like yeah. yeah Safety guard feet. Uh, yep, yep. That's how that's what you're looking for. Make sure these ain't rubbing together, the break frame or, or anything like that, yeah. yeah. Do y'all's trucks have disc brakes on them too? Our new, yep. I think they're so dirty though, aren't they, compared to the drum brakes? Yep. It's hard to keep anything clean, yeah, looking they nice. Need to make a disc. I know they used to go like to inside, cars. yeah. Yep, keep the dust inside them. Yeah. Yep. Uh, see, here's your brake line. Yep, yep. Got a good, like, three quarter of an inch there, don't we? <laughs> yeah, you got a big plenty of brake pads. And then Dang. we're looking in here also for wheel seal leaks. Yep. Any kind of any oil, oil residue. residue. Or anything like that. Same with your shocks. You're looking for oil on the shocks. Nothing yet. Nope, so far, she's nice and clean. Bottom side of a 389 peat. This must be some kind of an air dryer, air filter of some kind. Is this right here like an air filter or something? Or, that or is a, a DPF filter. Oh, DPF. death filter. Yep. D this is your oh, okay. DPF fluid. This is your filter. Huh. These need to be changed every 200,000 miles. That might be what I've heard rattling. Yeah. Don't look like it's loose or anything, does it? Oh, right here it is. Right here. Thirteen millimeter. Uh, let me go check. So we're checking all the lights now. Even though we may have added aftermarket lights, every single light has to work. So even if we one of these lights goes bad, 
We could be in trouble. Should be good now. I had the turn signal on. Oh, trailer plug tester. That's sweet. <laughs> uh, hit your brake light. All right. All right, so one of the next things we're checking is the bushings in the fifth wheel, which obviously they should be good because they're brand new, but uh, double checking that too. All right, so we have officially passed the inspection. This thing is getting backed out. We got a sticker on the door. We are legal. Good to freaking go. Well, folks, shout out to Schwinn Trucking for getting us all set up. They don't usually do um, DOT inspections for trucks that are not uh, leased onto them, but they were gracious enough to uh, help me get set up. They see my video. So uh, we've got all inspected. I'm going to go over this annual vehicle inspection report with you guys, and uh, you kind of know what we just had to go through for anyone that's out there looking to be an owner-operator or getting started with your first safety audit with FMCSA. You'll know what's going on. So here is the worksheet um, that we uh, went through right here, and we've got our brake system obviously checked out, our coupling devices, uh, pretty much all good, exhaust system, no modifications or anything like that, uh, fuel system, no leaks, lights all work, steering is all good. I mean, obviously it's a brand new truck, but these are all the different things that they're going to check to make sure that you are good to go. Um, for the year with the uh, Department of Transportation. So everything was good to go on our truck, so we passed. So now I've left with, we've got our truck inspection handled. I've got my medical card. We've got that dug out and I actually had to go renew it. Um, I've got to figure out how these logbook entries are gonna work because I really don't have any in the last 30 days. So we haven't done any like over the road stuff other than like local runs in the last 30 days really. Um, and there's no, like, they're asking for, like, bill of lading, too, with the logbook entries. We don't have any bill of ladings. We're not for hire. So I've, I do have an email from someone that works for the FMCSA. I'm sorry i got to say that out loud and slow. But um, I'm going to give them a call and see if they can help me with that part of it. And then we're registered with a uh, drug testing consortium or clearinghouse. We've already done that. Um, so all thing really left is figure out this whole logbook thing. We'll be good to go with our um, safety audit. So... I'm going to reach out to those guys here shortly and maybe they can give me an answer. For now, Junior and I are at uh, Streak and Beacon. Are you hearing you loud and clear? It sounded pretty clear. It still sounded kind of noise in the background. Where are you coming from? I'm out here northbound at the 288. Yeah, I'm sitting here flying J285. It's a little staticky, but it ain't too bad. Yeah, boy, I appreciate it. I know how to ground this shit. I was just hoping I got it taken care of. There you go. So to see me talk. <laughs> What's going on? They watched the truck. <laughs> oh, boy. He's like, what in the heck? Back up here at the shop. No streak and beacon did a stand up job this time truck i watched them they didn't beat it or bash it or do anything crazy it turned out really nice um we do have got to get these fenders from this truck asap i'm gonna tell you why because i've been slinging rocks and they put a hell of a ding right here in the back of the sleeper here so right, there's a couple guys right here local that can do like painless dent removals definitely have to get them to go at it once we get these fenders put on Right here is our letter from the FMCSA. And uh, you can kind of see what we did to your one current annual inspection. We got that done today. Proof of enrollment, controlled substance, alcohol program, clearing house. Uh, we've got that handled. The only issue I've got right now is the copy of 30 consecutive days of ELD or logbook pages or time cards. So I'm waiting on a phone call back from one of the representatives to kind of help us 
nail down what we need to do here and one current medical certificate check all good to go so with all of that happening today we're in pretty good freaking shape and uh got some parts showed up for our wheelie tractor project our turbo and all kinds of cool stuff so i've had a lot of parts show up over the past couple days here's our intercooler piping it's like a, a universal kit with some boots elbows clamps Got our adapter, which this will almost bolt up to the tractor. But this other side of it is T3, which will bolt up to our HX35. We're gonna be putting on there. And then we've got the um, elbow right here, which is three inch, which will fit all of our boots perfectly. And then somewhere over right here is our exhaust stuff. So we can build an exhaust pipe, it's gonna be sick.